friends, hello! We are back again with the triumphant return of 2024's Melty Blood Community Server Sodomy for Blue Glass Moon Brackets. The fifth one in total. Many more to come, I assure you. Uh, yep, we're actually starting on time-ish, roughly, for once, too. You'll love to see it. Or hate if you think you can show up late to every goddamn bracket. Uh, if you're one of those people, sorry, not today. Maybe next time. Probably next time. But anyway. We've got a nice 19 person bracket. Decent number of last minute entrants. Uh... Oh, speaking of last minuteers, Onionless just joined, so I have to last, last minute change some seatings. Oopsie there. There we go. Onion is no longer some poor soul's round one opponent. Thank God. Anyway, now let's hope we don't get any last final destiny moment show ups and if so let's hope they kind of suck so I don't have to do more bracket reseeding anyway how do I start events again I started one earlier god why is start.gg the worst fucking website ever made of all time fuck me Of how there's an events tab and a brackets tab. Very fucking appreciated. We totally can't just have multiple functions on one page, can we? Anyway, I've now started the bracket. Let's start with... Okay, it's finally lit so I can read who's where. Uh, let's start with Holly Wars and Shiburizu. Everyone else in round one can play. And then in round two, let's do Salty versus Bungus. Everyone other than those two in round two can also play. Until we reach winner's quarterfinals. Everyone in losers can play until top eight. Yes, Holly Wars, you are on stream. Just waiting on an IP now. Uh, last I saw Shib, he was on F Tono, so we might get a fun little pseudo mirror here. That should be exciting. Just waiting on the IP. And the IP is here. Thank you, IP, for being delivered relatively quickly. Ship has confirmed this is C Tono versus F Tono. Fuck yeah. Yeah. F Tono does have bigger buttons, though. C Tono has a bit more versatility going for him. As well as slightly more oaky routing options, those pressures still isn't great out of it. His defense is a good bit better, though. 
with a potentially high reward DP C moon mechanics. Good options out of EX and regular shield. F Tono's definitely got better anti-airs without having to rely on system mechanics though. And let's see, are we in amidst my ramble? Come on. Yes, we are. Let's get a prediction up then. We gotta go out and vote. Okay, have we sunk in yet? Not quite. That'll give me a chance to fill in the names. start. Oh. Okay. Well, at least they waited until shit was good on stream. Okay, we got an immediate jump C. To B. Okay, both looking a little unready to actually do combos. There's not really much reason to route into 2 and 4 metered or otherwise with F-Tono. So far, Shib's just been kind of death by a dozen cutsing. Holly. Trying to do these minus moves into backdash to snag a response into knives. Working sometimes. Still working. But then we do a not even re a real DP in neutral. But... Without Tono's good combos, he's not really going to be doing much damage. Tries brute forcing an anti-air situation, but it just goes straight over. Gotta mind the trajectory on that move. Holly Wars with first blood. That's what you want with Tono. The trade leading to a full combo, counter hit launch, fully air impeccable. Shib getting some DP hits of his own. Move advances. It has some decent disjoint if I remember correctly, so I guess you can anti here with it, though it's a bit risky. Got a dash to get the air throw there. That's zero, but... Ship's Tono does have a slightly faster set of A-normals. Doesn't matter, though, if they don't finish their combos. That's basically giving it a bar A opportunity. Let's see. All doing these 6-2-3s in neutral. Not being able to continue off of them in combos. Uh, Self-reporting games. Just use the score report if you're not sure if the score report's working. Yeah, just use the score report the channel. Because, again, Star GG sucks cock. Sorry. You don't want to ever let the politics to for B come out. Practically, I guess if you just hit Raw 2 and for B, it can work, but. I mean, honestly, two and four BF you should be using much. Anyway, Holly Wars on match point. 
I'm trying to slide in again, but that leaves a pretty wide gap from there. We'll call these Oki routes from Shib. He needs that hard knockdown for the sick F Tony mix. Or even shit 5k. Probably wants to do 2C as the pickup off these DP counter hits. Okay, ship staying alive. Oh my god, that was a footsie 2C. There's some green extended there. That overhead has some deceptive reach. I notice Holly's been rebeating the C normals into B normals a lot, even when they're not reaching, which you don't really want to do usually. If you're gonna be whiffing your moves as rebeats, you want them to be A normals, because that's how you reduce their cover if you see normals the most to give them best frame advantage. That's so many rebeats. Just needs one more hit. There we go. An empty air dash and trying to still mash when you've got extra landing recovery. That'll do it. Okay, next up we have Salty versus Bungus. Got the Bungus IP. This is likely gonna be H Koemek versus F Maids, so we're just gonna have Maids out the fucking ass. Endless Maid. Maids forever and ever and ever. Thank you, One Ka, for the subscription. A year and two months of giving me money. I appreciate it. I have no source of income otherwise currently. Everyone should give me money so I can do this for a living instead of waging and caging. Anyway, let's get another prediction up. Predictions up, get your fuck coins out and ready. Salty co hovering solo Koha currently, that's not his character. Let us begin. Okay, now we're hovering the pain in the ass to keep track of things character. Nice. From my old power up stage. off, trying to have a bit of an assist war currently. I'm just backing himself into the corner though. But the moment we whiff one two a he's on top of that shit. Baby combo for 4.5k. This is H Koa Mech Baby and nice low chicken block to get a punish on the shield counter.
That was such a wild air throw. He was nowhere near you. Okay, we're in max a bit early, but this character can abuse me in an assortment of ways. Throw, yep. I'm over here, I'm over here. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah. One thing I will give the designers credit for is that they did pre-see the made gangbang matchups and forced uh, sprite color sprite changes if you both play the same equivalent made color as each other. Or if like you play solo Hazui and they're playing Hazui plus Kohaku. Can you imagine how much of a nightmare these matchups would be if that wasn't the case? I didn't know you could still pick up a 5B at that height. Salty with game one. You did forget to sign up, Skeleton, yes. I was wondering if you were just like designating the bracket hours as your sleeping time or something today. Anyway, I guess in the corner again. Seems pretty unfamiliar with what this character does on offense so far. There we got the FZ, we also just saw the automatic follow-up on HCOMX 5C, unlike regular C Koha, where it's optional. It makes the move a lot more deadly on whiff. One more hit will, from either will kill now, though. Yeah, that's very plus, but not plus enough for that to not have throw protection wear off. And another abysmal air throw. What are you doing? You can't even say that's a read. There's no way you can think he's gonna be in that space when he's above and behind you. Okay, sure. Why not? Dodge it. Oh, wait, right, that's the assist one. You can just disrupt it. It's not a reversal if it's an assist. The regular Hizui arc drive, though, you want to spot dodge it if possible. 1-1. One, one. We're immediately starting with the assist war again. We haven't seen Bungus use his own more ranged assists, like the laser assist. Or jetpack. To disrupt salties. And his don't cost resources like salties do either. The forever block string bonk. So not. Familiar with the jump at points. Doesn't have a meter for bunker either. That was such a long high five moment. That might have staggered me too. Salty on match point. Okay, at least he was a little closer to you that time. So I feel like you could be trying to chase him a little harder if you really want to force the air throw. Empty low, finds its mark, this will kill. Very nearly on max, I wonder if he's gonna meter dump early. He can 63C, which is pretty reliable. Nope, and the heat's gone too. But I guess this is all tactically set up for that one scramble 5C. Nope, no shield for you. Still trying to not block, and this character is pretty good at forcing you to do that. And Bungus takes it. He's in Salty's bit of lacking patience. 
is fullest advantage. Anyway, that brings us pretty much at winner's top 12, though. Fungus gets to move on to fight Onion Lust. We're gonna have Gaku versus Wops, and I haven't actually seen things shape up yet, or have we? Let's do the winner of Riv and Mega versus Hypocritical. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to DQ Shoaib, it would seem. What? Oh, apparently he played in winners. Okay. Next up, we've got Kaku versus Wops. not pinned can play winner's quarters got the IP this is Wara Aoko a matchup that multiple of each party have contended is bad for their character so it's probably relatively even and wholesome all in all Two of the heavier hitters in the bracket. We're already at them. Prediction is up. Get your fuck coins out and ready. And put it behind the player you believe most in. Or maybe the one you don't believe in, if you think it'll cost enough soon to creep you more coins. Should they win anyway. We can start. Okay, we're back on the net play stage. We attempted a round start jump bait. Doesn't succeed though. 5k, just trying to push Gaku closer to the corner. Not trying to commit too much to pressure, just wants to jail Gaku out of being able to set orbs and force uncomfortable escape attempts. That's very plus, but so plus that you can't even throw there. Okay, we just get two random hits out of our air dash fuzzy attempt and no confirm. Yep, we're out. Obviously, it's always important to do so, but it's like extra important to block while jumping forward against Suara due to drill. Being able to cover so many different ranges. Similar health, one more decent confirm, but Gaku hits an actual meaty, so Wark is not gonna be shit. Gaku drawing first blood. Yeah, keeping the movement safe, does not want to fall onto the Hell's Orb and get counter hit for half his life. Gaku a little slow on the 623C. 623A, not C. Cancel. Against jump B. Gotta be quick about your shield cancels against multi hits. Usually still doable though if it's a fast follow up. Good landing catch. I'm liking these weights from Wops. And 
expecting another anti shield. Gives us the empty jump to B. Surprised we didn't see an air throw there. They were rubbing up on each other for a second. Trying to get some air counter hit. And... Counter hit is in Gaku's court. 2B can't explode held orbs for free without getting counter hit. Worst move ever. Gaku with game one. Yep, 2A isn't gonna be anti air shit unless you play the other character Lar gets compared to a lot. And another shield bait, but just doesn't do anything off the jump. Maybe hallucinated Gaku having burst, or just had a bunch of inputs get eaten. Who knows? Okay, Gaku trying to back off a bit now against the ambiguous landing scenarios, but Kato is long as hell, and Aoka's backdash is a little on the unimpressive side. Okay, cool combo. No! Okay, the burst is not as uncool as I was about to describe it. Somehow we survived that. F and C moon bursts in the air. If they whiff, they leave you with a decent amount of recovery, even after you land. Very bad position to be in. So I bursting in the air in this game is really risky. Especially with how inconsistent burst hitboxes feel. Doesn't even have to repeat magic, cause Swaps got hit for Gaku. That's a fuzzy dash. Doesn't kill. Wops has a chance to heat, but wants to intercept a bit more, probably to take what would then become a life lead if he gets a heat. Or just kill. So I get holding on to it. Though Gaku is now on match point. Tip it to a. I'm surprised that 5B didn't confirm. 5A! That move is deceptively long. It's not used much in the ground game, if the opponent's grounded too, due to a whiff and crouchers, but it's got its uses. Ground tech, and you could have air teched and been in a safer spot. But it gives you a position to kill, so was it really that bad a decision? Or an equalizer or a grave? Ops has been doing fairly decently, but has just been getting owned by like one or two zone encounter hits here and there, which have been leading to considerably more reward than what most of Wars hits grant him. 3.6. No tech. Ops is waiting for it. Close the button, it's a stagger. People can whiff whatever the fuck they want on your knockdown, your Aoko. You're snoozing through all of that shit. Snagger something. You're never gonna stop Aoko's from 2C'ing though. It's gonna get a decent amount of health back and almost wastes it, but Wops once again doesn't confirm. But we're co protecting our dumpy with Kato. You'll love to see it. That move is so big. As long as you just come to cover so much. Oh, I heard a shield into something not working. I check a ping. It's here's Gaku is doing some damage, doing damage again with the fuzzy. Ah, doesn't cool it all the way home. But the doghouse will do just as well for now. Gaku on match point once again. I was getting a cheeky and low. With the ambiguous whiff situation. Surprised we didn't see a 2B there. Yeah, that is nowhere near enough for an advantage to create any sort of guard break. Especially not with Aoko's guard breaking options. Ok, 
Okay, 3.5. What's the Oki? Berry plus drill. Just does a bampless string with a 2A after. Burn max. What are we gonna do with it? Just choosing to move around doesn't want to be kind of whiff kind of situation with a greedy EX orb or the like. I think that was a slightly delayed 236C. Oh no! Okay, what's the mix? I think that was a Kamone dash. Assuming Lops wanted to get out of the corner. Naku taking it 2 1. Moving into top 8. Next up, we have Riv versus Hypocritical. And then we'll be in top eight. Okay, we've got the IP. I've mentioned that he's trying to play with a reduction in 4-2-1s, this bracket. That'll be interesting to see. Because no one specials around in neutral with Ryogi like Riv. And that's saying something, considering this character's fucking players. Riv is the specials as neutral master with Siriogi. Voidwalker versus Necomancer. I like it. Anyway, let's get another prediction up. Prediction is up. I haven't seen a hypo play in a decent while now, I think. Let's see what improvements he's made. He beat Dalek right before. We can start. Yeah, Riv was one of the other last minute show ups. He's just like, hi, I'm Riv, I'm here now. Fuck with me. I was trying to get their air counter hits. Pretty dangerous air dash air throw there, but I guess it didn't get punished. And Hypo decides he's the first one to present a fake reversal on defense. 2 2 B does not work against meaties, as well as being fairly vulnerable to chicken blocks, even if it does clash. Due to how slow it is. I guess the damage is good if. Oh my god. Hypo, please. Okay, looks like the no 421s was a lie. If someone started pulling the fucking whack ass mech 2 2 on wake ups on me, I'd probably start pulling them too, even if I felt like I was honor bound not to at first. If you wanna, like, if you wanna cornball special me, fuck you! I'm the almighty god lord of cornball. 
I don't remember if that moves plus at all on Serio-V, actually. Jump air dash jump B. This character's air dash is pretty damn fast, making it a little more tricky to deal with on that play than a lot of other characters. Big life lead for Ribs so far, taking the first game. No counter hit. There we go. Trying to air dodge out of air tech. Not particularly reliable. Yeah, that move tracks. They use move that hits the neck when you're behind them. That shit will still try grabbing you. Yeah, you can just do that in reaction to the super flash. Good response. I do wonder if 2 and 4 C would have worked even better. Not sure about the exact dynamics of that interaction. Block that one. Hovering just above the Neko, but we don't meaty! Gimmick time! Hypo taking a round. Let's see if he can turn that into a game, or if the rest of his wake up 2 twos get stuffed over and over. Or we just drop our combo so he can't even get a wake up to do fake reversals on. Oh, we dash him. What's the mix? Yeah, I kind of expected that. I was kind of expecting Hypo to throw back, but looked a bit hesitant in what he was doing in the air, and there's no reason to make. I was gonna ask why he did that, but it seemed to catch Riv. Asking what the fuck was going on too much to actually win an interaction there, so... He still ended up winning the round because even Hypo seemed surprised that worked. Okay, Equalizer Grave yet again. We're without Knife. We are with Knife. Not sure what Hypo's trying to ant here there with. This way. Spot dodge, why? Okay, we've got Arc Drive if we just want to pull that shit out. Might as well. Or not. Okay. One our meter, that's fine. Yeah, you gotta have a response ready. Riv will do that out of your Oki if you don't have an answer. Come on, Riv, you literally saw him hitting the cat there. Ready for the air hit? There we go. 1-1. One, one. Hypo staying alive. America. Actually, this time, instead of fucking Europe. I think he could have punished that with knife toss. Plus, I think, maybe. I don't know. He's throwing either way. So, starting to see a bit more zoning focus from Hypo. Trying to sure against Riv's aggression. Okay, that works. Just out of reach of 421C. Successful dash under with Pulp Riv on match point once again, though. Slowly chipping down that life lead. And now Hypo's having a hard time reacting to these. This is death. He's having a hard time defending his airspace without just staying on the ground as opposed to jumping. And moving forward. 
in said air anyway. Rip moves on. We've got our winner's top eight. Next up, we have Onion Lust versus Gaku, I believe. Yep, Gaku Onion. And after that, we'll have Rip Chase. Onion typing. I'm gonna be honest here. The reason I joined this bracket is really petty. It was ready to get the run back of our set. Okay, well, Onion, you have your run back now. Here's your opportunity for revenge to lay Gaku out in front of a live audience. Bro, oh, you're skipping your finals for Melty? That's kind of based. Oh shit, thank you KFL for the sub. The money is greatly appreciated. Predictions up, get your fuck coins out and ready. By the way, Onion's been speaking. It does seem Gaku won their last set. Grant just FT5, if that influences your betting proclivities. But you also gotta keep in mind, Onion's confident. He skipped his final for this. And FPCL's a fucked up character. Anyway, let us begin after I change the names. Let us begin. The PCL center stage of CSS. Gaku, no longer sleeping on a pretty good Aoko color. There's probably some others that I like, but I just appreciate Gaku pick, just at large not picking one of the extremely fucking boring ones. Everyone picks either fucking LARPer default color or fucking black shirt. She's got such a cool variance of fucking palettes though. And we've got a whiff punish on an orb set. Don't finish her combo though. I'm trying to find his way in. Gaku trying to stay more at a mid range. Doesn't want to get out of the range where he can play a little more aggressive with Siako zoning. Looking aware that if you go out too far, this character can just start setting rocks and throwing out missiles without really giving a shit about your orbs. Wow, there's no shit bars because this isn't fuckfest. You gotta wait until tomorrow for the shit bars to come back. I'll be taking life lead. The clock is starting to tick down too. Trying to just do random shield out, hoping, oh, if it works, we've got FPCL reward. Not doing any sort of. Oh shit, nope. That was such a waste of meter, my god. 
Now we've got zero. Granted, this character can pretty much have whatever meter she wants if she gets a hit. Oh, we're just doing the funny wheel kick, wheel kick, wheel kick, TK. And trying to do our first slice, we're like, please stop rocking, but... Ill-timed. Oh, jump six feet, don't see that move too often. Got our little fortress. Ani just running into it, not bothering with any sort of zoning option instead. We are seeing 236A as well, which can clear missile, not missiles, orbs decently. They're proxy. Trying to 5B. That is a good move to use alongside dash. It's wrapped some setup attempts to Depending on the matchup, but not there. Gaku with game one. Okay, we're presenting missile now. Nah. Actually, their running with 5B would have worked, because you could have used the momentum to clear both the orb and catch Gaku. So now we've got our hit. Can we finish our combo? Nope. But Alka wake up, even with two three six A's, billion years of recovery on with. Alka ain't doing shit if you're knocking her down. Fuzzy. Air dash fuzzy working. Oh, you ape! You ape! You ape! That is technically a microscopic life lead you now have. Just want to entertain the direct air to air scramble there. Kind of a scary 3C with, but Gaku not capitalizing, a little too focused on his own runaway. Yeah, charge 2, 3, 6A is very plus. You gotta dodge it. It catches jump too. And it's unshieldable. Fun character. What's the mix? Mix isn't. Oh, a little out of range. Okay, now Gaku's in a slightly more comfortable position as life lead. I mean, trying to aggress with the zone, but that one held orb. Seeming to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Or was that a proxy? I already forgot. Blocks the double overhead. That shit is pretty fucking hard to block, especially in conjunction with a frame 4 2A. What's the mix? We're just doing double A rock for some plus frames. Haku. Expecting a bit much during that total sequence. Onion managing his meter decent with 623C. Could have punished that tech. But given Gaku a chance to live now. We're out. And we just try falling right on. Probably want to keep aggressing to deny heat, but still not enough for Gaku. 1-1. One, one. I have not given either person a point. I gave Gaku a zero for his first win. Delay air dash jump scene. I guess it can catch people if they're really snoozing, but that this character is way a better mix of options than that. Well, even if you just want to do delay air dash, do jump B. Or still jump A, because it's a fucking double overhead. What's the mix? Empty low. Gaku's been blocking these pretty well. Okay, once again, managing our meter. Don't shield my shit. This, I believe, can yeah, kill easily. It doesn't even need particularly swaggy routing. Not sure why I was unsure of that at first. Onion on match point. Once 
again. Managing meter, nice. Charged rock. Still a little more feasible off that knockdown. Utaka's wake up. Fuck off, try Microsoft 365 family for free. I hate Microsoft. I hate all 365 days of the year. I hate families and I hate freedom. And so does Gaku, it would seem, as she's been emboldened by my rage. The billion shits on the screen overhead. I'm not trying to throw that shit. We're at Braver Grave. Technically, Gaku's got a massive meter advantage, but it's FPC, also, who the fuck cares? Charged, that can set up guard breaks pretty damn easy, but Onion not ready for some of these more situational confirms. Onion's still playing fairly aggressive, and not ready for the weird hits again. You do not have the phrase 236A there, my friend. Yeah, Gaku's still trying to make sure there's not too much space given to Onion, even if not a directly aggressing too hard. But Onion got his turn for one moment, and it's grappler er than half the command grab character's time. Almost a good quick combo, but not ready. Oh my god. Not like this. Oh my god, you could have died even harder there. I wonder if that was meant to be an AD input. Why did you get hit by that? The Super Flash was screaming at you to get out of the way. Okay, we're throwing. Got it. Onion moves into winner's finals, I believe. That was a top eight match, right? Yep. Ape, not kill, ape. Anyway, now we have Chase versus Riv. Yeah, all matches from here on out will be on stream. We've reached top eight. Also, shout outs to Shib. I assume it is. That's helping me update all the scores. Thank you for that. Greatly appreciated. So I don't have to hop between the bracket page and the stream management and everything every five seconds. Thank you for that. Big fan of the assistants. Or if it was VB doing that, like take all the text I just said, control F all uses of ship and replace them with VB. Unless you want to be shipificated for some reason, then I'm not gonna take that away from you. Or ship, if you wanna be VV pills, you can make those replacements yourself, even if you did, were the one that helped the bracket. You have free will. Depending on how you define the concept. Anyway, let's get a prediction up. Chase... versus... Riv. Predictions up, get your fuck coins ready. Guess, guess, guess. With money on the line. Slot machine time. Let us begin. We can start. We've synced and sunk in. This drink that I made is too fucking sweet. 
I poured in too much elderflower syrup. Anyway, that play stage, understandable this is a bit of a distance. We're on the Ellie color, the Kirkle color. Oh, the old Ellie color. Now just the Kirkle color. I wasn't quite ready for the first Reko whip. Oh no, please don't. There's much more about sniping landings. If he's not just over committing to air throw, both of those lose to shield. Okay, we're hitting the link. Nice. There's space in the corner, but it's just there to gaslight you. Ooh, that one was pretty nice. You can't say I called that one seeable on comms if you watch this back. Chase first going with, like, one of the more seeable options, but, like, it's a far connection net play, so whatever. And then just going for grime, regardless of connection. Why are they called 50-50s when they hit every time? I think it's because you're misreading. It's not 50-50. The slash it means 50 out of 50 times they hit. But then we've got just as a do as dominant of round right after. Okay, what's the mix? There's space in the corner, and Chase knows that. Their web tulpa screaming seeable same side. Leading them to defensive victory. And also telling them to get hit by these knife tosses, because that happened to me too when I fought Riv. I just happened to play a character with high enough health that it doesn't matter. Okay, staying patient. And we're in- ah, that could have been a lot. Still, we don't have a spectate speed up, so we're still alive. Chase trying to play it patient, but 5B on this moon doesn't hit far enough. Oh, we're trying to do the nasty, but... Okay, Riv is just not even doing the flip. That's what I was expecting, but it doesn't matter. This doesn't quite kill. No! That's where you wanted to air shield. Still alive, though. I'm liking Chase's patience. Nice. Let's go, Chase. Waiting on those two C's right until they matter most. Into the other corner. Basic and wholesome safe jump. 2AA5B. I guess that's one way to catch IEDs. Understandable burst. We're getting a little spicy with these air throws. You gotta know where the opponent actually is and. Cool game. Yeah, you just have to gamble in that situation, really. Sea Moon can EX Shield jump, which is pretty nice. Good shield. Right back jump C, a crouching Ryogi. That's gonna be a number. Actually, a pretty small number compared to what could be. Riv, why are you not holding down on hit? And a pretty powerful tech chase. I like that. Actually, I wonder if that's an OS that would have covered teching behind too, because that's 2 and 4A then. Either way, nice. Solid 2 0 from Chase. That's the best I've seen them play in possibly ever, possibly a while. One of the two.
putting themselves in winner's finals. But before we can see more of the chase train, we've got Wops versus Bungus. This should be H. Comex, C. Wara. I do find think this matchup is fairly obnoxious for Wara, just because Kamaku can already contest normals with Wara better than other characters, and now he also has to contend with extra screen control, backing that up, and a pretty drastic damage difference, too. With even stray random spike ball into baby combo melting away half his health. Granted, H Comex defense isn't that great either. As well as being H Moon, her health is below average. And she doesn't have any dedicated reversal options outside of Max. Anyway, prediction is up. Get your guesses ready. We can begin. see a bit too much. No combos a result. Another weird drop. It was a little too far for it, so no way punish on that charge jump C, though. Apparently misses the punish on Mars landing. And on counter hit, that's straight up fucking combos. Okay. 5.3k for nothing. I like the dash, though. Just getting out, not letting Bungus steal frames. That's an important thing with a lot of assist and summon type moves. All of them do have a fairly high frame cost, even if they are aggravating to deal with when out for not going away on hit. Oh no. Oh, you could have teched out there too. But a lot of them are vulnerable to dashes and generally moving out of the way. All the time dash throw can leave you in ball on hit to avoid getting hit by them if they'd otherwise cover you trying to punish. Could have confirmed that into what would have been a kill. Oh no, landing scramble. Only one of these characters doesn't have a shitty frame 6 2A though. Bung is strong first blood. Nice full combo, hit the mech, so got a tiny bit more meter and a tiny bit less damage. A little slow to the Nanya Summon, so not really getting out of the corner, just wants that immediate out now. And 4.8 off of a basic 2A start. Oh no, you got hit by Spike Ball. Okay, did the, like, scrimblest confirm into a drop, too, so you're still alive? Now you aren't. I've just been showing, like, some initial understanding of how this character's character works, but when the pressure is put on him, he's been cracking a little fast. Good shield. That move, if it can't cancel, has... Pretty hefty recovery, as shown by the 5A whiffing into still getting a punish there. Not 
second. Play it safe. There's no jump seats, so no funny corner 50-50. And yeah, Watts just with that max to back him. Playing a little more aggressively, braving the scrambles. To be with, that is very scary. Not preferring to move safely though, so not much of a whiff punish opportunity. Isn't ready for it there. Nearly 6k, Jesus Christ, that's plus. Bunker works out well enough though. Off of me does not wanna potentially just straight up die, because that was a jump in starter. Ilara and Guts might have saved him. I agree with it regardless, though. Besides your Wara, you're already at 100 meter again. Five C was a nice idea with its speed, but we're just out of range thanks to Akia. Just one more hit. Yeah, made out of commission for a bit. Trying to play it somewhat safe. Jump and swing moves a lot to prevent getting shield countered and owned. And the 2B Dumpy will equalize it. It's barely not enough hit stun. Throwing him, I expect that, but we whip our throw back. Maybe he'd wake up command grab, that would have worked. I know Green GM likes doing that against throw setups sometimes. Good wait. I see tap space. But that move, high amount of invul, even if it's green first, it can easily make a lot of stuff whiff and then punish with the hitbox. Barely surviving. This is scary, but Spectate hasn't sped up yet. We're still alive. Another dumpy hit. No confirm on the jumpsy triple overhead, however, keeping us alive. I was almost expecting a scramble heat there. But nope, does not want to potentially get owned by a bait, perhaps, but too high a jump B. I was playing it out well until then though. And if only you were FYR, you could have gotten a full combo off that. Instead, you're losing more than half your life. Blocking the overhead, just barely out of reach to punish, though. He's kind of expecting an air dash cancel from the jump C. Doesn't drop it. I always do. Might have missed a summon input. Good wait. No throw punish, though. Oh no, I said throw and Bungus heard it before Wops did. I'm sorry. Mara's got a huge backside. True! I really did pick the right announcement image for tomorrow's exhibition. With Wops as the Wara pilot. Speaking of which, if you like what I'm doing today, I will be running two exhibitions tomorrow too. One of the players on stream being one of the players featured as well. Oh no. Bungus takes it 2-1. Just didn't quite play careful enough. Was trying, but... H. Komek is just so fucking explosive. Anyway, we've got Hypercritic on Foopy now. Foopy being another one of the players I'll be streaming in an exhibition tomorrow on this channel at 8 p.m. C coma versus C Nekomek. Not sure if Foopy's ever played this character. She is 
rather weird, especially if you've just never fought her. Koma does have a pretty big damage advantage in this matchup, though. Between having significantly higher health, dealing considerably higher raw damage between Koma's ability to reliably break 4k off of a bunch of hits, if not hit 5k off of cleaner starters, and Sineko Mech, meanwhile, has a pretty restrictive damage ceiling. Where, without reduce and higher guts factored in, she can, like, barely break 5k off of jump and starters, usually. But hey, you've got Arc Drive to just do a million damage for you if you're in max and they get hit. Let's also see if Poopy can time Meaties properly off of Air Throw. Anyway, let's get a prediction up once again. Predictions up. Vote your little financially ruined hearts out. Let us begin. Hypo immediately in the corner, but frame one two being out. Space two three six A is plus, but it's always gonna leave a pretty big gap into whatever follow up you do. Even the other wreck is that was quite the way it's pressed. Hypo didn't try doing anything. Maybe even he stopped for a moment, like, wait, this is the wrong tech direction. What am I doing? No 6C after those two hits. You know that was there by that point. Bit too long of an air dash. Might have been slow on the button because he didn't want to extend green into jump C. Still takes the round overall. Just rushing in, not staying behind that little protective Neko. Got some Oki, just push him into the corner with that pressure, or he just gets hit. Guess that means we got, got like, Oki Oki. Not really, because of Neko positioning. Not being ideal. There we go, that's anti-jump. Good landing catch with 2B. Wasn't ready for it. Alright, but you gotta be ready for how nice you are when you're nice. That's air unblockable. You committed to something, but that is air unblockable even if you didn't. Hypo with game one. And a low profile 2C, okay. That does beat jump B. Not jump C if you're pressing it not really late point where it might as well not be relevant. But you do need to be mindful with ID jump Bs that low profiles will easily own, and Sikuma has a lot of those. Hey, Foopy with a round now. Getting a bit more comfortable. Throw that, no. You can throw that in response to the super flash, even if you need it with an A normal. Mechamech has a good throw too. It's the most damaging non-combo throw in the game and leads to a pretty nicely long knockdown. Still getting caught not ready for these Neko trajectories. Getting out, avoiding the guard break though, that's good. That is not a safe heat at all, however. Still alive though, only on one health, however. I'm trying to play it slow in the air, but 
I would just not want to give any space. Come with scary. About the dash, I believe we could have just 2 seed there for pickup. Got a hit here though. Oh no, Hypo's doing the thing Nekomek and most other Melty players do where they just don't block a bunch for no reason. That was no punish, but I believe Nekomek and Mech can actually punish the final wreck on block with 5B because it's so fast and has that long reach. 1-1. One, one. Just waiting patiently. Nope, that move is completely disjointed at the lightning. Yeah, from that range, chicken block into dash throw is definitely not working with Neko Mech's slow ass dash. Might be better off trying to do walk up throw. Her walk speed is really nice if you're walking forward. Back, the opposite of what I said. That could have been a tech punish, but you actually jabbed too early. Doesn't matter though. Poopy on match point. Good wait on the dive kick. I think that was the A version at least. If so, and if it was, then he could have with EX canceled the recovery. Potentially deny that punish. We'd have had the funny, melty, other side hitbox moment with 2 and 4 c grabbing the green. But no, no Twitter clips for you. And now Foopy's turn to 5 on Wake Up. Good jump from Hypo, showing the awareness, but not showing the awareness that you can just come down with a button afterwards. Don't land to punish, there might not be enough time for that. If you are neutral jumping Koma's command, EX command grab already, take your free full button jump in, jump in button punish. It will work. And you will do damage. Anyway, Foopy taking it two to one. Next up, we have Riv versus Bungus. I look forward to seeing the flip versus spike ball interactions. That'll be funny. Let's get another prediction up too. Rev Bungus. Predictions up. Get your fuck coins out, however much you have left. is hosting, but I'm not seeing the connect yet. There we go. Oh, we're having issues maybe, Bungus Singh. Is it connected for you? Oh no, are we stuck on black screen? Shit. Fuck! I'm hungry again. I'm gonna open my nice can of great value Pringles. They taste even less like real food than normal Pringles. Yeah, that tastes like hardened styrofoam mixed with salt.
I do have some dips in the fridge that I could probably mix with them to make them a little more appetizing. Some sauce packets raining from McDonald's. I have some of the curry ones and some of the spicy ones. Bungie saying, sorry, had to plug in my mouse. Why was your mouse unplugged? What do you need your mouse for? Okay, now we're in. And I almost knocked over my trash can by accident with my feet. Not out of anger or anything, just pretending to swivel in my chair, wishing it was a swivel chair instead of a static chair. Anyway. Let us begin. Fungus versus Riv. Whoever wins this gets then face off with the winner of Gaku versus Foopy. I have told them they can start. They are simply waiting. They are no longer waiting. I play stage again. Early avoids getting hit by the jumpy. We do block the flip. We block it again. And Fungus has had it with this malarkey already. 4.7. Just that space 5A might just be trying to catch another wake up option. But now it's Riv time. Riv's time to shine. Oh, uh, we're presenting these fucking glass moons now. That is such a suicidal air crow chase. Ah, damn, that could have been so much damage. Good blocks from Bungus, though, into a decisive jump C. Riv is in max, though. I'm liking the patience. Oh no, it hits. Is this how it begins? Frame one, successful mash, okay. Nope. No 5A for you. Anti-air 5As are there to lie to you. In so many scenarios. I guess has been doing fairly decently though, just not quite taking his maneuvers to their final conclusions. Nope! Just one more hit, we're in max. Out of meter now though. That's unblockable. That's still unblockable. That is still unblockable. That is avoidable. Now that took away so much of his health. Nice backdash in the corner, but we've got the insurance. And we try extending green to Antier again to no avail. I have noticed that Bungus is pretty afraid of using shield to anti-air. I'd just be trying to avert risk, but sometimes you do just have to go for it. In a lot of the difficult to contest air to ground situations this game creates. That was jump A hitting from behind. Didn't even need to jump C. I'm surprised that didn't punish. Nope. It has! That deceptively slow start still, that can sometimes stagger shields where you find yourself in there, you're dead. Never mind! Now you're dead! Staggering the landings. Okay, we're getting a little enthusiastic with it now. That was such a long run into toss, but it worked. Nah. Oh, you got hit crouching too. Leading to average Koemek damage. Good evasion, but not ready from just 
flinging himself back. Nope. Bonk. Just domed the fuck in. Stay. Saved by the Clash, I believe. Nice. Avoiding the... Fucking... I've tossed this fairly well. Brute Heat wants that health back and immediately almost kills himself with the overchase. Okay, Riv on match point. Fungus has been very close to taking a lot of these rounds, as well as taking several of them. Surprised we didn't see an air throw that time. And the knives are finally hitting their mark. Surprised we didn't see an air throw there either. You're missing the ones that are working. Doesn't want to hold shit anymore. Deep dash into 5C. Will put us any basic confirm away from kill. It still has to be an actual confirm though. Yeah, I call it. We're gonna start seeing the unblockable mayhem now. It's like, Bungus is being patient and respectful. Fuck him. That was such a good clash with the 2B, but was it ready? Not ready for a lot of these slightly off unexpected 2B hits. Fungus doing his best own impression of Riv 2. Good EX shield, dashing too deep. That's other side. Oh no, the robbery. He was so close. Riv clinching it though. Now we have Gaku versus Foopy. Winner of this gets to face off with Riv. After this, we'll also be back to winners' finals. Between Chase and Onion Lust. We are in. Predictions up. Time to get your bets on. And we synced. Let us begin. Say we can begin. We can begin. Okay, we've got our hell door out and barely insuring ourselves against that jump C. Not sure how well Poofy can navigate this maze. Trying to get back in, does not want to get pushed into the orb. And all of Rekka's Hawks would have pushed him in anyway. Gaku could have EX cancelled that 2 2 B on Whiff in response to the Super Flash and the 6 2 3 C. Stay. Not the right height to get double overhead though. Dead. 
Nope, don't I idiot me. Poopy hanging back a bit much while Gaku's able to make total use of the frame advantage given to create much bigger orb houses than you want in this matchup. No punish on the 6B whip. Not good max too in case they do get hit. Game one to Gaku. Seems we're taking a moment, thinking, thonking, breathing. There we go. We've exhaled, and it's time to continue. Time to foop 64 times in an FT2. Could have punished off the chicken block. Might have been expecting the B version and just want to commit to the zoning game continuation. And not ready again. If you're acting time with Koma, you can EX cancel into 236C. Jump 236C. To avoid some insurance at points. No. But IDing too long. Both sides not ready for the situation, but. Gonku's got the Alco Masher gene. Putting her on match point. Oh no, the ball's touched. You're gay now. Yeah, attacking is ill advised. Fuzzy. This won't kill, but any like two tap that isn't two A normal swell. Foopy remembering heat exists though. Pretty flaccid pickup, however. Getting a decent amount of health back, especially with coma guts. Damn. That could have pretty much equalized the life leap too if that throw back into the corner wasn't out space. See, it pushes out too much. No point trying to confirm that unless it's 236A immediately. This is fairly tricky. Yeah. Rough. Goku's also got a decent bit of experience from fighting multiple comas. Back to winners finals with us now. Chase. Onion lust. Gaku will get to fight Riven losers right after that. Let's get another prediction up for these two titans of the bracket. I, I did Chase versus Foofy on the predictions by accident last. My head is still a bit in the past, I guess. But now we're gonna have Chase for real, not for fake. Presumably. Onion vs. Chase. For real this time. Frosty Fasting's 2024 finalist versus Onion Lust. Don't forget to vote, though. The poll is up, where you can win money, which allows you to highlight your text telling me to drink water or pee my pants. And I think there's other things you can do with channel points, too. I forget what. I think I can implement shit, too. I'll do that eventually. If I do that, will y'all start watching my non-melty streams?
Okay. Partially threatening. A Simiako, not committing to it though. I would have been ready to commentate a Simiako mirror. I'm ready for any godforsaken match in this game on the mic. Empty. Low. Gaslit low. And just gets hit standing. Okay, might have just been trying to hard expect the Sandori option. Even PCL's long as Bunker cannot reach from there. Good jump out, but ends up in the corner again. Jason's pressure has been looking a bit upgraded today. Better use of spacing advantage that I would be in the like percent, but narrow jump B, but better. Opening chase up. What's the mix? Empty low this time. Tried mashing something, possibly fuzzily. Onion drunk first blood. If Rock can get out even half assedly in time, that shit ain't tears like a motherfucker. Just didn't seem to be aware that that rock wouldn't have actually hit directly against an up back. And the double over it hits again. Not managing our meter though. An empty throw now. She's not ready for these rock timings at all. Okay, you can't even burst. This won't kill, but this might run out your max if Onion doesn't drop. Even if he does. She seemed a bit mind broken by the entire process. It's easy to have that happen. Got our chance now, though. Unfortunate drop. Try to shoot through six eight. It's quite plus. We gotta make it with our gap reversal. It or some shit like that. Mainly those two. I blocked that one, but Onion didn't. It's like that's pretty visible space in the corner. Maybe this is gonna be for like a. Gas slide into air dash back. Nope. Just hits. Okay. I was about to say, please don't do blood heat out of that. Okay. And it was still all a waste. I need to have my current telling me which side the left right mix ups are. Uh, last time I spectated you, I did get them wrong here and there. I watched one of your sets yesterday and I was like, okay, I blocked that one. That's same- no, it's not the same side. There's space in the- no, there's not space in the corner. I blocked that one, though. Okay, Onion halfway to Grams. Okay, he's trying to find those spaces to present 2-2 to disrupt some of Onion zoning now. Not quite used to the ranges, it would seem, however. We don't. Punish the tech though, and we don't whiff cancel our 2A to shield either. Bring a bit of hovers, no counter hit off the 2B, so not ready to confirm it. The other strong thing about P Cell's pressure, the rock bullshit aside, on her normal melty pressure side of things, she has a lot of things going for her between 
The 2A obviously has F moon plus rings, why would he do that? But it's also quite long, and her B normals both have quite good cancel windows. As well as being like barely minus or zero. Chase on a small life loot. And I commentators cursed a little bit, but my own self-awareness saved them. You're welcome, Chase. I metagamed you to victory. 1-1. One, one. Oh, we're doing the FPCL round start classic. That's like the American starter, but for fucking PCL players. Not sure why I said F the first time. All of those fucks do it. Oh yeah, her C normals also have good cancel windows. All of them. Even 3C, which looks like it should be something you just do on block by accident. No, she can use most of the recovery to still special cancel it. 2C also has 40 frames of recovery and can cancel during all of it. So she can spend almost an entire second chilling and you'll feel stupid for letting her do it, but there's always a risk to doing something about it. Onion getting hit by these mix-ups pretty often though. Again, from standing. I don't know if he's trying to just do some monkey bullshit on Wake Up, or if he's just hard expecting the Sandori option. In any case, now it's Chase who's halfway to Grand's. Most of Onion Zoki has been going pretty well as is, but I noticed they don't really do the grounded high low option with 3B, half charge or charge. While presenting the 2C low kind slot option half charge. But as mentioned before, these jump A's are doing a lot of work regardless, both halfway to grands. If you're in range, you can throw punish that. Oh, Onion's favorite fake wake up option, 2 and 4 c He's evolved past the 6-2-3-C air. He's like, 2 and 4 c on wake up is legit. There's no space in the corner, yep. And a gaslit low, possibly also trying just catching I mean, trying to move forward. Either way. Chase taking the lead now. Eating just one more to put themselves in grands. Okay, what's the mix? Doesn't matter. I was about to say, that was more ambiguous looking than most other attempts at hop left rights too. Maybe that's why Onion decided to shield. I would have probably still blocked it, but it did look more ambiguous than usual. Okay, not making... And again... This character has a lot of time to special cancel. Good block on the overhead, but Chase is looking pretty unfamiliar with this character's actual block string pressure, the special aspects aside. Nah. Fuck out of here with that. Okay, we're going for 2 and 4C again. There is space in the corner this time, but it doesn't matter. Dead. I what Onion was trying to mash there. He wanted to do a bold advancing 5B out. I think that's what the startup was. No 2A for you! Should have done 63A again. Maybe that's what he meant to do. I wonder why he was chasing that high. You're being given frames to reposition the mid-screen or pull out a rock. Another throw. And you might be figuring, okay, Chase wants to be patient and not choke away this match point. 
Time to start grabbing his ass. Their ass. And a heroic 3C. And an ineffectual burst. Oh, that was a risky 3C whiff. Risky 2C whiff too, but it doesn't matter. We're moving a little too sluggishly around these whiffs. Chase taking with the 3-1. Again, looking pretty funky fucking fresh today. Now we have Riv versus Gaku. And no one voted. Democracy's dead. And whatever your favorite fucking system of governments is, it's dead too, because you didn't vote. But now you have a chance to revive it with another prediction. Hot on the plate at your table. Scarf that shit down. Enjoy your vote slop. We've synced, let us begin. into a monkey flip. Okay, I was about to say, you miss an air throw opportunity, then you whiff one. I guess you've equalized it now, sort of. And attack in a 2C, why? It's 5.5k. And we're ground teching again. Bro, I know you came from Smash, but this game doesn't have a roll system. Okay, we've got an orb out now. Not just swing ourselves into hitboxes anymore. Riv almost doing that though. Riv actually doing that, just not with counter hits, so we're safe enough. Pretty wide whiffed wheel kick too. Firm, ending it there. Probably doesn't want to get hit by a gap 421C with whatever the next follow up is. Ooh! Got a counter hit though. Ah, no guard break. Goes for straight for the air intercept. Which might prove fatal. Jumps and said, I was expecting a tick throw off of those advancing Rekkas. That might prove fatal too. I was expecting that air throw wholeheartedly. I'm like, he's gonna go deep for it, and Gaku's not gonna protect your airspace for some reason, or just stay on the ground. Riv with game one. He's rising, he doesn't have frames for it anymore. Tasteful hover over the knife though. Getting us a combo. 
4.2. Of course he would do that on Wake Up. That's funny. I wonder if that's minus enough that throw is just a true punish. Of course you're doing that. Of course it works too. Okay, pretty big life lead has now been taken. We spot dodge back. Just out of range to do something about it though. Okay, both of us are pretending to play footsies now. Why are you low shielding after that? Dear God. He was in the sky. And even when he's not at that range, he predominantly does 2B. Not 2B, 5B. If it was 2B, then it would have been semi-reasonable. We've got our jump in though. Up in from Oki route. Push him into the corner. Yeah, no one's blocking. Air Dash Fuzzy in this distance. Sure. This, I guess, is over. Rev versus Onion is up next. I think I have to task manager this melty shut. Close the pro play. Program. The little. Let's get another prediction up. Semi final prediction of the night. is up. Time to vote for the second to last time of the night. Onion immediately locking his new main. Not really that new anymore. Main of almost two years. Let us begin. Start. Oh, we got a sour spot in the 623A. Neko Tech succeed. Why are you shielding there? Okay, Onion with the first real hit. Never mind. Now Onion with the first real hit. Okay, yes, for real this time. Not really for the air hit, it would seem. This is death. If we don't drop, we do not.
Okay. I can go back to watching. I just scratch my face. Okay, onions and mix. Surprised he didn't do an air chase himself there. Okay, swanky dash under. A pretty good life lead. This reward is decently in PCL's favor in this matchup. Though Jumpy can blind spot PCL's own anti-airs due to that bit of cross-up capability, so it can get into where 2B doesn't shine, as well as behind 623A. Overall, though, one of these characters hurt a lot more off their hits than the other. Between both damage and also just the fucking Oki difference, too. You're just getting hit. Sometimes that can work if you think, oh, they won't be able to confirm it reactively, but that's not the case if they're counter hitting you. Onion halfway to Grands. I wonder who Chase is rooting for during this. All times two away. Into the other corner with you. Nope. So we're gonna do an extend rep to deny Max. It's looking increasingly likely. Never mind, we drop. We do cross up 63A, it would seem. That's something. Narrowly avoids just getting counter hit and dying by that rock. Good patience from Onion, just like, okay. The monkey's gonna roll into my trap inevitably. No tech, that's smart. Heavily chasing, not trying to do a suicidal air throw off of it this time. Not sure what you're trying to bait with Oki Backdash. This character already doesn't have reversals, and she doesn't have meters meter to pretend she has any either now. And another frame one destiny mash. Onion looking for that peel, and he has it. Maybe even those drops were tactical. It's just like, I know when Riff will panic, and when he won't. I just gotta loop those. So 2 3 b not finding its mark successfully though. Okay, goofy stuff is working again. That's most of Onion's life gone. Please shield that. Oh, I'm expecting the Neko text tonight, it would seem. I do like the wait there. Aware of this character being actionable after that move gets shielded. No bunker for you. Gotta be mindful of the very wide assortment of timings that Rock can have. Of not getting out in time, that wasn't a true guard break. Now we're blocking him. Block will find their mark though. Nope. Onion on match point. And this is not a good start for Riv. Okay, at least the Oki was a little fake this time. But Onion is just mashing his heart out. What's the mix? Nope. These bunkers have just not been working at all. What's the mix this time? Riv's attempts at just opting out of playing defense are really not working against this character, as they shouldn't. Onion, getting his run back with Chase.
for our grand finals. Possibly set to become grand fucking finals, depending on what happens. Let's see how fucking Onion will make these grand finals, or if Chase will just take home the bag right out the gate. Case okay, time for the final prediction of the night. Prediction is up. Vote your heart away as it stops beating after this match. The Onion might be riding into this with a bit of an advantage, having just said chasing after D's nuts in chat. How's Chase gonna fire back? Onion has shown himself pretty fortuitous for the long game, though. I remember the main fuckfest he won. He won from loser's side. Dropping, I think, like, one game through the entire process. And I forget if there was another fuckfest where he won via bracket reset. He might have. Air shield counter is already not particularly reliable, and F... PCLs has kind of a weird hitbox too, if I remember correctly, it's mostly upward. Got that 5.2 fucking K, and that was a shit Mandori, I think. Out of range. And this fucking animal. The gaslit blow this time. One more hit though. Nope. 2B. God anti air. Nah. The beast is loose. Sending those payback jump B's a bit more too. Good defensive move. 6B whiffing. Due to Satsuki being a bit sleepy. Onion, you used to play this character, you should know this. And now we've got the actual Sandori, no confirm though. But that's safe, you gotta shield it. Again, you play this character, you should know this. You've also been doing rando shields in other spots. This one's being given to you on a platinum platter. All right, what's the mix now? Chase with game one. And trying to jump, that's decently minus. Onion knows this, because he played this character. He won Fuckfest with this character, actually. Proving that maybe this character is an arrow counter pick after all, sometimes. You see with the that's a little scary. Not punishing the tech. 5B is not beating Jump B. Oh, catches the back dash with the hit grab, okay. Stealing some of Onion's own old tech. Armor Mix can end this. And it does. Chase halfway to Grands now. Not halfway to Grands, halfway to taking Grands. What the fuck am I talking about? 
your B, finding its mark. A successful air shield this time. I don't think B seals that sleepy, maybe by like two frames, but I guess that's all we need to snagger a shield. Then have our heart stop too hard to punish. I might have been in a bit of disbelief there over 2C whiffing too. BG's. Chase up another game. Just needs one more to take it. Onion moving back to CSS. Are you presenting something? Okay, now we are just having the fucking finale to Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Caesar versus Koba. Let's see if Onion still got it with this character. Even if he does... Chase does have two games to throw away while still having a shot at this. Oh, doesn't just combo off that counter hit. Okay, the confirm's looking a little stiff. Thankfully, you can just spark and shart with H. Yeah, that's a totally disjointed projectile. That ain't working. 2 3 6 C might have worked, but that would have still given a super flash to EX cancel that move, I think. Unless that was 2 3 6 A. I already forgot if it was A or B there. Onion and Max gets to assert himself a little more harshly now. And we've got that one Sasuke with the hard knockdown throw, so we're not just letting the opponent out as a punishment for blocking. That 2 C gets pwned as well. Chase is using chart 63 in, in mid-screen pressure a lot now, which I don't really think I agree with between it having a propensity to whiff or just getting backdashed when it isn't. Nope. Not scooching fast enough. This won't kill, but... Any shitty ass hit will. Oh no, we fuck up our Oki, I think. Or at least I hope. I d hope you're not trying to do backdash Oki against a character with no meterless reversals. That's also H Moon. But that was almost a cool pickup. Chase on tournament point, though, and. We're clip fishing a little hard. And that is just in range, too. Onion on the board, denying the 3 0. And jump C finally reaches its mark. Okay, what's the mix? There's seeable corner space, but we're just doing it to set the Sandori. With minimal fucks given about shield. And a gaslit low will give us another combo. Not too much damage due to Satsuki above average health and sweep scaling more than most moves. An F-Moon especially, because you can't just rebeat into more of a string. Trying to bunker back to no avail. Damn, I was about to say, I mean, still got those. No, he does not. What he does have, however, is a very nice coffin. Almost ready to ship for him. Nope. He charged it, so it's good enough. No combo, though, but that still did a lot of damage for... Minimal stringing. Why? Chase, please. You're getting so close. But oh, I get it. They're just trying to gain some meter for the next round. Nasuki likes her meter. Let's 
See now, if you get a confirm, you can meter dump for fun stuff. Okay, both of us are getting a little spicy with our round starts. Nice 5B. Something I'm sure a lot of the F players wish they had. No counter hits, so we live to fight another few frames. They do not have the frames there, even as F Moon. That is plus, you should know this, you play this character. 2 2. Some of the tech stuff is looking a little rusty, but even just switching to this character has him showing off that he knows what this character in both moons does more it feels. Like he hovered Satsuki and he's like, oh right, Satsuki! I know what this character does and how to fight her. Chase will be close to max here if they can survive. They are alive. I like the IH. I've been trying to buffer some sort of gap reversal. Hello? Are we frozen? No? Please? No? God? Christ? Allah? Muhammad? Shit. Uh, Rehost, I guess. Oh, they're already back. Okay, we're resyncing. We're back in there. Both one away from hitting three. Only Chase can afford to not hit that first three, though. Taking a few more moments to sync. Gonna twist my back a bit. Oh! Now we've sunk in, okay. Alright, we're back to the finale of the second reboot Planet of the Apes movie, once again. Yeah, yours doesn't spike. Oh no, now we're getting mixed back. Who mixes the mixer, who chases the chaser. And just a neutral jump jump C, staggering chase again. Is this gonna be perfect? Not quite, but maybe it will be. Pretty much, yeah, that was just a total waste of meter. And now your body's being fucking wiped across the floor. I'm sure Satsuki's happy about that.
Okay, onion on reset point. Looking increasingly comfortable with his combos on this character as he plays her more. And a frame trap will not quite kill, but one more open up can turn this into a double perfect. There we go. We are now in grand fucking finals. Okay, taking a bit of a mental reset. What's the power up stage gonna be, Chase? Church. God given right to win round start. Space in the corner, but does seem that Chase doesn't care about the C ability. They just want to present stuff cloaked by that fact. And we're just mashing out right back. Fuck it. Okay, what's the mix? Figured there was no space in the corner. There's been too much space in the corner this whole time. What's it gonna be this time, though? Still same side. Not sure if Onion knew that. Maybe he was just hoping, oh, both these moves have super flashes and some amount of invul. You can do a left-right OS with this character's supers, right? Not ready to confirm. Chase just like, fuck it. I want out. If I get hit, I'm probably dead. It doesn't matter. I'm mashing. 120%. Blood for blood now, though. Sure, I guess it's safe. And it was airtight. It led to you winning the next interaction, which is all that matters, I guess. That is why your other meter options are a lot better for defense. No jump hands onto him for A. Wasn't expecting that. I just not wanted to get hit by like a read 623C. Good jump. Similar life counts as a result. Nope. Frame 5 sweep. We both got those. Gotta second guess every stagger you do. Now we're jump canceling it. Barely misses the shield whiff. And yeah, kind of hard not to want to jump there. That guard bar is looking real rough. And one more hit will kill, but Onion is giving a hit back. Giving us max. Slightly delays it. A little funky, a little stylish. A little first game for Chase. Not sure if that made it fake or not. And these people's names are on the wrong sides. Or maybe I was like to catch the spot dodge. Smart if so, because of it being an advancing one. Oh, not ready to confirm, unfortunate. I could have put you one hit away. Good wait. Gaslit low again. Putting Chase halfway to Grimm's. Round 
Good dash out of the corner. I was about to say, might have cornered yourself a bit, but doesn't matter. Tulpa of me got to you first. Another tick throw. I always get thrown off by just how much range that move actually has. Yeah, things are looking pretty good for Onion this round, though. Would have just been a kill for him, but maybe slopping into that led to him getting more meter off of his series of hits. I might be reaching too much for early in the round. Yeah, seal that burst. Onion can afford to do something stupid if he wants. Oh, we just don't want to lose momentum at all. Might prove fatal. That's not mix. That's the Oki skeleton did back when people didn't respect him as a player. Okay, the fake air tech trap does hit. And yeah, that's still requesting a bit much for room, I think. Violent air throw. Shield, yes, there you go. You play this character, and you know it. 1-1. One, one. Finishing the confirm though. Eh. Pretty slow Sundori. Pushing on into the corner though. Good jump. I'm gonna assume the charge was a miss input. I almost admire the balls if it wasn't. If you did 2 3 6 C instead, that would have worked. Nope. That doesn't have a cross up hitbox. You should know this, you play this character. I guess in all fairness that time, the space in the corner might have been expecting the shield box to reach far enough. That happens sometimes. That still isn't working. I was kind of expecting the shield too, but it seems Onion was as well. Doesn't seem he was there, however. I was too busy talking to expect or not expect it. And Onion's getting free knockdowns because he got successfully tech called at once. Okay. And we're still doing the whack Oki now for some reason. Demanding a bit too many frames though. Onion looks like he's gonna clinch it right at the end now. Yep. Unfortunate. What if that was actually just meant to be a 2C but in point three by accident? Why? Oki okay, ratting. Hell yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're back to doing real stuff now. Stares into Onion's eyes, but... His eyes were a little too pretty, and he stared too long. Understandable. Sasuke's eye color is one of the reasons I want to fuck her more than the vast majority of the cast. He's looking pretty good for Onion. Getting meter out of chase. And you're about to die, just go for the throws. They believe in being patient at that point. Until they don't, and then you gotta use that against them too. Are we gonna peel it fully? One more hit. There we go. Both halfway to taking the tournament now. Chase has been winning these opening 2A wars pretty reliably. 
Onion not wanting to opt for throw, even though his character his throw doesn't suck total cock like Chase's. All right, what's the mix? It kinda isn't. If Onion was like a foot more forward, it would have been. Good OTG. This won't quite kill, but one more hit. I was expecting the gas to throw right there so hard. I'm like, we might see a shield or some shit. Actually, we saw what could have been a correct Abare attempt. Onion read my mind, but might have half charged it by accident or just gotten buffer cucked. In any case, Chase is one match away from taking it now. He only got hit by the one, two. To gaslight, Chase into mashing. It wasn't the green GM one, two, three, four, five, like six or so at Climax 2021. For context on that, uh, Green GM and Onion were playing casuals at Climax 2021, and Green GM was getting a little salty. And he started just, like, yelling count of the number of times Onion was throwing him in a row. He's like, one, two, three! And we hit, like, six or fucking seven. If I was Onion, I would have kept doing him, too. It we have the sexy shield counter combo, it's looking like it. God, that is so much damage. Fucking off of shield counter scaling. Kind of an understandable burst. Not an understandable tech though. Again, I'm not understanding these OP backdashes, and I'm just kind of hoping they're misinputs. Each time they've happened, they've been among the few times Onion's blocked on Wake Up too. Instead of opting for a shield or a mash or something. Nah. No funny for you. We're on 2-2 now. Only one more match, and then I get to eat real food. I'm gonna clean my pots and pans and make fucking soup. Risky tech. Oh no, you're mashing, mashing now. Please don't mash, smash. Except that time. That was pretty good. Okay, gaslit throw. It's not really that gaslit. Only slightly gaslit. It's just a ticky throw. And on three C, that's not supposed to happen. Barely survives it though. Keeps the same side, wants to maintain that pressure. Similar life counts. One more open up can take this, unless we drop. One more open up from either one can take it now, if it's not shit like that. Damn. Onion on tournament point. Now he's starting to do it Americanly. Manning a little too much respect for that empty jump low, though. That does not have a knockdown for it, but... Chase not fully seeing these hits through. An interaction, but not much to show for it. There we go. Now we've got it. If he backdashed there, Onion would have probably blocked. Yeah, fuck out of here with that shit. Okay, we're down to Braver Gray for the entire fucking tournament now. Both on no meter, too. And Chase. Possibly deciding they don't 
want to win a tournament yet. Nope, Satsuki a little small. Trajectory's a little off. It's probably more trajectory than hurt boxes in there. And Chase still barely alive. If there's ever a character to make a comeback with, it's Satsuki. Never mind. Still a close and fucking ass clenching grand finals. God damn. <sighs> Fun stuff all around. But that will be it for the night. Stay tuned tomorrow at around this time, about 30 minutes sooner. Uh, I'll be running, streaming once again, exhibitions between Foopy and Psyche, and Wops and Teedbub. Keep an eye out for that, but that's all for tonight. Nice seeing Onion play again, nice seeing Chase improving as well, and everyone else. Good stuff to Bungus and etc, etc too. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing. Uh, thank you, The Void, for commentating with me. And thank you, fucking Shib, presumably, for helping me input scores. Greatly appreciate that. And we'll see you all next time. On Red Cord or Fuckfest. I'm not sure if I refer to part of this series or what's coming next. Z-ness.